Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm Laura and today we're gonna work on a stops routine. stops routine? Yes, we'll explain. In this video, I'm following and my friend Bobby White will be leading. Holy sh**. So today, everybody knows the Shim Sham, but from what I understand, back in the day, everybody knew stops, and they all had their own personalized versions of it. They would open competitions instead of swing out, swing out, swing out, circle as we do today. They would do a version of the stops routine. Of course, there's a big, long, fantastic history about stops that we do not have enough time to get into in this video, but Bobby and I will be doing a separate video completely on the history of stops. In the meantime, might I suggest checking out Bobby's blog, swungover.com. It is an amazing source for history. First, Patreon. Thank you, people of Patreon, for helping to make this video free for everyone in the world, including people like you. If you want to join, it's a voluntary subscription, and the link is in the description. According to Frankie Manning's book, Stops was the first choreographed routine in the sense that all the different couples did the same thing at the same time. And Frankie was the one who invented it to the song Posen. But the version that he invented is not the version that we do today. And here's Bobby to talk about Stops as we know it today. When people think of the Stops routine, they're actually probably thinking about the routine as taught by Sugar and George Sullivan and Mama Lou Parks dancers for the third, fourth, fifth, sixth generation of Harlem Lindy Hoppers. The original versions of the stop dates back to the Whitey's Lindy Hoppers. So if you want to learn the traditional version as taught by Mama Lou Parks dancers, then you should learn it from them because a lot of them are still around and they love to teach the stops routine. So go to classes with Crystal Johnson, with David Butts, with Debbie Youngblood, and many other Mama Lou Parks dancers who are still around teaching that routine. To my knowledge, nobody really knows what the original stops routine looked like, but Bobby and I have made a fan fiction of what we think it might have looked like based on a compilation of four different sources. One, Mr. Frankie Manning, inventor of stops, talks about the sequence he made up in his book, Frankie Manning, Ambassador of Lindy Hop. Two, in 1983, Whitey's Lindy Hoppers get together. During this reunion, they try to remember the stops routine. They go through it twice, at least on video, each time with very different footwork and counts, sometimes obscured by people walking in front of the camera. We call this the reunion clip. Three, a clip of Al Minns and Leon James dancing in a show with the worst sounding name, Playboy's Penthouse. Hugh Hefner was a big jazz supporter, the more you know. Four, in 1984, Al Minns taught a version of the stops routine in Sweden. All right, let's learn this version of stops. Now, unlike the first stops routine that we know today, the Al and Leon version and both versions of the reunion video have the follows and leaders on the same foot. The first part of our stops routine is mainly taken from Al Minns and Leon James from the Playboy clip. Let's build up the solo section together. We're gonna start with a variation of the toba break, which is what it looks like Miss Norma Miller starts with in the second version of the reunion clip. There is a day In Frankie's book, when he's talking about developing the stops, after the first Charleston section, he says, skip up, then slide back. Now that sounded to Laura and I a lot like that step in the Big Apple. I think you might know the one. If you watch Alan Leon, it looks a lot like the Big Apple footwork, but without the slide. If you watch the first version of the reunion video, everything about the movement looks just like the Big Apple, but without the slide. If you watch the video of Al teaching stops in Sweden, 
it is the Big Apple footwork, including the slide. But the followers do it on the other side. This is how much we geek out about this stuff. Follow along. We'll build up this Big Apple-ish section together. Rock step, kick step, kick step, rock step, down. Rock step, kick step, kick step, rock step, down. Now make that rock step, kick step part look like a bunch of kicks, like the Big Apple. Now let's add our first stop. Put together the whole solo section starting with the toba on the last eight of the phrase, followed by a Charleston basic, then a break on two, then two Charleston basics, then the skip up, the big apple section we worked on, and the stop. Let's do that again. Look at a few details. The detail of the skip up where the follows move forward and the leaders stay behind to form a diagonal is only in one version of the stops routine, which is the second time through in the reunion video. But Bobby and I thought it was cool, so it's in our version. In place of the slide you find in the Big Apple, Al and Leon are doing a toe tap, which Bobby and I have in our version as well. Sometimes after the toe tap, Bobby does four kicks instead of two, which is what Al Minz does in the Playboy clip. Dang, he does everything so pretty. You can see Leon James has his own solution. Kick, kick, together, out. Let's add the partnered version, which is primarily based off of the second run through of the reunion clip. First, there's a trickeration transition into hand to hand. We'll break that down now. Fall off the toe tap, kick, step, kick, kick, ha. Do it again. Now that whole partner section, starting with a solo stop on seven. Trickeration transition into one hand-to-hand -hand basic, a stop on two, a transition into two hands, into a stop on three, and a tuck turn on seven. Okay, that footwork was pretty complicated. Let's spend a little more time on that. Let's think about the rhythm and then build up the footwork on top. Seven. Three, fall off the toe tap, hey, and hand to hand, hand to hand, ho, kick, kick, rock step, ha, and rock step, tuck, turn, bam. Let's look at a few details. Ultimately, a lot of our specifics don't matter, especially since this is something Bobby and I made up. You can see I'm doing the toe tap and the trickeration, Bobby's not. Doesn't matter, it's the same thing ending in the same foot. Do either one. After that stop, I do a double kick and a rock step on my right. Bobby switches to his left. To me, the strangest part is going into the rock step for the tuck turn immediately after this stop. I'm stopped on my right and the next step is on my right. Boom, chug that thing back, it's all good. You can see in the Almonds and Leon James version, they have some interesting cheats. Al stops on his left and then ba-boom, rocks on his left. Leon stops on his right and rocks on the left. Whatever feels good to you, do it. Keep dancing, make your idea happen. Now at the top of the whole routine, put two swing outs followed by a six count circle with a break. That's what Bobby and I think he means by reverse in the intro Frankie describes in his book. Here's the whole thing with One, counts. Two. You know what to do. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, three, five, a seven, eight, one, two, three, oh, a five, 
seven, eight, one, two, three, five, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, seven, one, two, three, five. Here we go. A one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, one, three, five, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Hey. Now put it all together with music. There you go. There's Bobby and my version of the stops. Go out there and make up your own. Let us know, we would love to see it. I hope you had fun and learned a lot. And if you did, smash that like and subscribe button. If you liked the music, it's the Brooks Promo Orchestra and you can find a link to buy it in the description. If you wanna learn more about history, check out that Swung Over blog and podcast. And half of the money that I get from this YouTube channel goes towards organizations that support African diasporic artists and art to honor the founders of this dance. And the best way to learn this dance is to dance.